Howdy folks, it's uh, Wednesday, December uh, 18, 2019. We're looking at the island and uh, this morning we pulled out the, uh, the, sink, the temporary sink and uh, this is the shell of the cabinet that'll go in here. Uh, I'm building a the two by four platform that it will sit on as well as um, the floor in there. I'll have to cut it and install it in two parts so that it goes around the uh, the uh, water pipes and the disposal pipes. Uh, Lynn and I installed this cabinet and put the back on from there over to here and we had a Dickens of a time and right now it's very very in very very good shape it's level and the like and neither one of us know why but uh we're real pleased with that this is when i talk about the table side of the island uh this is that it's uh these are narrower cabinets they're for things that get stored that we don't use all that often um, and the counter will come out to about here 18 inches it's where the green tape is so you'll have about 15 to 18 inches for your legs. Um, you know, I talked about the two posts that I had made. <clears throat> I'll show you what they are right here. Uh, this one is the leg. And you can see, if you look down at it, it tapers ever so slightly, about a half an inch on either on all four sides. And then I've got the same type of setup in there except that uh, that's, there's no taper on that. <coughs> and what I did uh, in order to give some strength, because this leg and this two by four will give it some, give it, you know, this area, some support um, so that it doesn't sag. But uh, yeah, I used fit the 50 year old lumber from the old house. These would have been rough rafters. Uh, I glued them together. Uh, and then I ran them through the jointer to get them uh, nice and flat and clean. You can see the, spa the seam between the three boards. I put cut this I cut this board down lower um, before I did all the glue up. Did the same in there so that this piece here would lock in real nice. Now there's a little bit of a gap there which doesn't make a difference because I have two screws here and I put one here. And then over here, I um, screwed right here through the plywood, through this and into this, did the same thing over on this side. Um, and then I screwed this cabinet with three drywall screws going down. Um, to keep it secure. Uh, right now, I'd say this thing is very secure. Um, it's just attached to each other. Uh, for instance, here I used three drywall screws to attach this cabinet to that. And then I just have on all of these three drywall screws going into the two by four down there. Uh, what really uh, so that's how I attach cabinet to cabinet, but I think what really gave it the, uh, the big strength is putting this three quarter inch panel in back. And the reason we pulled that sink out, we were going to do it today anyways, but the reason we pulled it out at this point is the sink was up against that two by four down there and we weren't able to get at this panel and push it in tight. So, uh, we took the sink out. We'll use that sink downstairs. Um, you know, the other thing I talked about uh, in my blog yesterday for Tuesday is I talked about putting in an outlet. Uh, and there's, an, there's the outlet. And um, I used a weather resistant uh, outlet. I certainly wouldn't have had to, but I thought with the fact that this is a countertop possibility that there might be water leakage. 
Um, anyways, what's going to happen is the uh, I've got pop-up receptacles, and I'll put them somewhere in here, and um, then uh, I'll have to cut a four-inch hole in my countertop and drop it in. Um, but uh, the reason I've used an, and then I'll put a plug on that and plug it into the outlet. I'm thinking it'll be easier and more portable, perhaps. Um, what I'll do is I have another out, double outlet that'll be right here. I showed you that the other day. There's the wire for it. Um, this wire then feeds over to this outlet and this outlet will feed over to a double outlet on that corner. So Linda will have a double this outlet that'll be up here, a pop-up receptacle on the counter. And that may be all we need. Um, then, so my next step here for today is, uh, Linda went to one of the neighbors uh, to deliver something. And so for today, what I'm gonna do is build this base that'll be for the cap, or the uh, uh, kitchen sink. And I'm gonna sand this level and then we'll attach one of the uh, countertops over there on top of here. And my plan is to learn how to cut through that uh, countertop and install a kitchen sink. I've never done that before. Um, my plan is I'll uh, lay it out on a template, cut the straight edges with my circle saw um, because I can handle that and it gives a nice clean cut. And then to finish it off and to do the, the angles or the circle angles, I'll use my saber saw and, uh, and then the issue you, I might have though is how do I keep this big butcher block piece then from falling through and destroying all of my plumbing. And so what I'm going to do is once I get the hole in the butcher block cut um, partway, I'm going to screw a cleat or a piece of wood to the bottom of the uh, the bottom of the counter, the wood countertop. Do it on two sides, adjacent, two opposite sides, and then finish my cuts. Uh, so after I've cut an area, I'll do that, so that when the thing is done, there will be enough support there to hold that piece until I can lift it out. So that's my plan for cutting the hole and keeping that wood uh, countertop from falling and destroying the, the plumbing that's here. So uh, that's it. Thanks for following our progress.